Yo, this is Teresa Weatherspoon, better known as Teaspoon, and you're watching Real Fans, Real Talk. Live from the camp. Uh-huh. This is Real Fans, Real Talk. Talk. Real Fans, Real Talk. We as real as you thought. Real Fans. A little bit of baseball news. Yeah, I mean, every time I get disappointed in this team trip, they just pull me back in. It, they just... It was an, an analogy I was about to use, but I, we're a family-friendly show, so I'm going to leave it alone. <laughs> but the New York Mets, they've done it to me again, Trip. Max Scherzer, along with Sterling Marte, along with Eduardo Escobar. Oh, man, I feel, I, feel, I feel like we back, baby. I feel like, man, Max Scherzer and Jacob DeGrom together? This is oh. the second year in a row they, they had a big three signing. Yeah, we got Lindor last year. And the rumor is they're not done, that they want to bring back Javi Baez. I don't know what that number is going to look like, though, because Javi Baez is, is going to command 25, maybe 30 million on the open market. So we got to yeah. see there. Well, yeah, listen, I, when I saw it today, I was like, what? I was like, damn, why the Yankees didn't get him? <laughs> well, and, and I thought about that, too, especially when I saw that it was only a three-year deal. Because my concern was when I first heard the rumors, I'm like, man, Scherz is up there. I didn't know his exact age, but I knew he was in his late 30s, 37. Yeah. So I'm like, I don't want to give him a five or six year deal. The three year deal, even though the, the annual number seems crazy, but at a three year deal, it's really a two year because after the second year, there's an opt out. Yeah. I'll take it. I, I love the move. Absolutely. I love the move from that standpoint because you're basically saying, look, we're all in for the next two years with Scherz and DeGrom to try to lead us and get us over the top. I yeah. like the move. Um, again, it got to play out on the field because the ground was, was a little injured last year. We're probably going to lose Conforto who I like, but Conforto didn't play well last year at all. Yeah. And you guys lose Thor as well. Yeah. We, but I, I don't mind losing Thor because Thor had missed pretty much the last two years. And I, I think he had peaked for us already. I think for, for as talented as he is, the, the book was already out on him. You know, he's a guy who throws very hard, but doesn't bring much else to the table. I don't yeah. mind that. Scherz is a proven commodity. Scherz is a guy who's won a World Series. Absolutely. Scherz is a guy who competes every 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 day he's on a mound. And being able to align him and DeGrom back to back now gives you an opportunity every time to, you know, those two guys pitching, you got a great shot to win. Yeah, absolutely. Listen, I love the move for you guys. And again, you got it at, at a short, uh, you know, short deal, three years. He's 37, it'll be 40 when the deal is up, maybe even 39. So you could possibly even, even get away with that last uh, you know, 40, 43 million. I love it, man. I'm looking forward to seeing what the Yankees are going to do. Yeah. Yankees have been quiet so far, but I don't know how long that's going to last. I, I think the Yankees are going to be on the market as well. I think they wanted to see some of these high price guys go off first, but I expect you guys to get active. We're going to see it this week. Cause you know, they can't, they can't let the Mets get, get too much fun. They're not. Yeah, yeah. They yeah. got to outside. The zone. They're not. I, I, I really, I, I know your outfield is packed. But I know Conforto is a guy that you you guys always had your eye on. So I wouldn't be surprised if they try to see, you know, what could be done there.